name is Edmé Varijn and I'm a camera woman from Holland. I currently live in Istanbul and for the past seven years I have been covering the Middle East as a videographer, producer and photographer. Often my work takes me into conflict zones from Gaza to Syria or whenever breaking news happens I have to drop everything and go uh, as long as I'm allowed to. Um, my days in the field are very intense and long. Days fly by and sometimes I forget to drink and, and, and eat. Um, decompressing is therefore very vital. Uh, a few years ago, uh, when I was living in Palestine, I rescued a badly injured husky puppy. Unfortunately, after one and a half years, she got stolen. But in my heartbreak, I thought about my wish to go dog sledding one day. So I started reaching out to dog kennels in Norway, where people are volunteering to help and train dogs. Uh, a lot of dog kennels had long waiting lists, but I managed to get in contact with this one musher who has more than 40 years of experience. And luckily he told me to come. And four weeks later, I boarded the airplane to Norway. And ever since, for the past five years, I've been going back to the exact same dog kennel and I've been training huskies for dog sledding races. Um, it became my yearly retreat to leave the chaotic Middle East and um, immerse myself in the tranquility of nature and the tenderness of dogs. And sometimes I would go from 20 degrees Celsius to minus 20 degrees in just one day. And the contrast between those two worlds couldn't be any bigger. However, they're also similar in unexpected ways. Uh, for instance, whirlwinds of snow flying over the frozen fields reminds me of grains of sand blowing around in the desert. Um, dog sledding became a kind of therapy for me. In the wilderness, I reached a sort of hypnotic state and I tried to capture this journey in all kinds of shades of white, blue, gray and pitch black. Um, indulging in the nature in its purest form makes me really feel alive and I think I need that to balance how close I get to death sometimes in the Middle East. Uh, as different as they are, both experiences are exhausting and exhilarating. Mm -hmm.